I want to show you this creative color grading pack we made called Psychedelic Shores. There's a bunch of 3D LUT profiles that we created that work on images that have highly saturated colors. We're gonna be twisting the colors all the way around the spectrum, doing big hue transformations into blues and teals and peaches, a lot of unexpected stuff. This profile pack really looks for color in your image. So if you're shooting with a model in the frame, make sure that their skin tone is one of the least saturated things. That's gonna serve you really well. So let's jump in and start applying this really wild pack of looks to some really colorful images. Remember, these profiles exist equally in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm gonna be using the Lightroom workflow. I'm gonna open up my first image in develop. I'm gonna go right into the profile browser. You'll see I've got Adobe color set here. That's my base color so I can mouse over that for before and after. My browser is going to look a little bit different than yours. It's been simplified for the demo, but I'm going to go right in here to my RGG Psychedelic Shores and start checking out these really cool profiles. So you can see right off the bat, we're getting a massive transition here for the hues. Blues are going green. Yellows are going magenta. A lot of the skin tones are staying pretty much in their original location. Some shifts happening, but you know what? I'm going to show you how to deal with those. Window pane, slight shift away from the split tone. Red beach, a little bit more muted. Grand saline, cooler. Lucy, some interesting subtle hue shifts going on there, reductions in saturation. Flashback, really cool. Nice split going into the shadows. Warm hues into the highlights. Bondi, it's even further. Keeping some of the blue in the bleachers but changing the yellows to peach and amping up the saturation on that. Golden Dragon, really wild. And Volalta, completing the hue transition completely around the color wheel. Especially in these more extreme ones, you're definitely seeing some changes in the skin tones and that's intentional. We were trying to make really big moves in these profiles so we get huge results right off the bat. Now. The thing to remember is that we always have this amount slider and just pulling that back a bit preserves a lot of the major hue transformations that are based on high saturation and is going to pull back more realistic skin tones. So you can see with a, with a, with a really strong transformation, we can dial that back and get back into the realm of reality. Same thing with Placius, dial it back a bit. Boom, I've got something I can use. Bondi, really desaturated in the reds and skin tones. Pull that back, entering reality again. So I really like flashback, and I know once I dial that back, I've got a really cool grade that I'm ready to roll with. I'm gonna check out the next image, see how these work. Here's something completely different. This is sort of pink dominant with a lot of warm hues in here, some red, some burnt orange, some yellow. These cool little blue pops in here that I don't know what those are gonna do, but I'm gonna check it out. This is exposed, maybe a little bit bright right now, but I'm cool with that. I'm just gonna move into the browser and start exploring. First one, window pane, more cool, red beach more magenta, more saturated. Grand saline, like a nice light touch with, uh, with all the pinks and it's driving uh, some of the yellow and orange hues into pink as well. And look, it's flipping this all the way to green. That's a nice touch. While Lucy's doing some really cool stuff to the face, changing all those yellows and oranges into dark purple while largely leaving the pinks as is, maybe just cooling them off a bit and pushing the blue into a light green. Flashback, that's pretty cool. Bondi, nice muted peach. Wow, Placius, that that's the winner for me so far. Golden Dragon, Bolalta. 
all these different hues, they're so cool. I just want to show you something that looks so whacked out, like Golden Dragon. Bring that back down. And we get usable results with something that looked way too extreme. But my favorite is going to be this Placius, which I'm also going to just dial down a bit. Rain it in just a touch. Close that out, and I'm just going to do a couple little luminosity changes, see if I can amp it up a bit. Bring back some of the detail in the highlights and whites. And just add a little punch via the clarity slider. Sweet. So I'm really happy with that image, and you can see how quickly I was able to achieve a lot of different possibilities that I could see immediately and just fine tune them rather than having to think about the possibilities, come up with them in my head, and then affect them. That's the beauty of this profile pack, is you can see everything immediately. So this has been a look at Psychedelic Shores using the Lightroom workflow. Now, you can see this is a wild grading pack, a lot of insane color transformations, so I can't wait to see what you figure out with them. Mm -hmm.